What's going on everybody? Today we are building a racing goat. Shoot. Today we're making a Frankenstein racing lawnmower. A redneck Frankenstein lawnmower. That's right. And we want to achieve 40 miles per hour and mow. So we're out grabbing one of our two lawnmowers that we're going to turn into a racing lawnmower and it's kind of buried back here in this shed. It doesn't run, does it? It was running. It was just, you know, the whole lawnmower is kind of wore out. Yeah. Ran when parked. Ran when parked. parked. <laughs> it's a freebie. Ten so years ago. Can, yep. Uh, I'm not going to complain. Yeah, no. Uh, it's rear engine, which is not what we wanted, but... We can take the engine off. We can it. take the engine off and use it on another mower. Man, you see those barrels back there? That could be a perfect, uh, perfect pontoons for the amphibious go kart. Is that a Briggs? Uh, I believe so. Sweet. Nine horse, eight, eight horse. Eight horse. That so be it's enough. Kind of a small engine. Yeah, a lot of people have people have been asking for a while for us to do something with a vertical shaft engine. Here we are. And with a lawnmower. And with a lawnmower, so bam, two birds. All right, we got the first lawnmower loaded up. We're off to the second location to grab the next one. There was one over there in the yard that we can take. We can take this one. And there's uh, one over, we can't have that one. Okay. Uh, and then there's one with no rear end in it over here. Man, this one's red, it's a racing mower. I know. And it's a Murray. Uh, we could put a live axle kit from Go Power Sports in this one. Right. Uh, but there's no transmission. Okay, that's a bummer. <laughs> there's one on your forehead. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Dude, it's still there. What? Hold on. Okay. Oh, all kinds of blood just smeared all over your forehead. What? Yep. Oh, the mosquitoes are terrible. Look at it, the side. I guess this is the deck to it. Okay. We got the red Murray. Let's, let's... All right, here's the other one, right? Yeah. This could be a problem. What's that? It's got the hydrostatic in it. What is that? It's automatic. No oh. gears. Oh. 19 horsepower. Uh, wasn't the other one a V-twin? Uh. So I'm thinking uh, the other one over there. All right, so this one over here is the winner. 17 and a half horsepower. Oh, yeah. 42 inch cut, six speed. You're turning it. Yeah. Hopefully it has a little bit of compression. I see a problem already. Uh, look at that pulley. Yeah, that thing's uh, wrecked. We can buy a new one, right? Uh, well. If we can even salvage it. If we can even get it off the uh, rear uh, end. It's spinning freely. It's a new goal. Let's see if we're swapping it to first. We'll put it in gear. Hmm. Oh yeah, there it goes. Oh, sweet. If we can't pull it off, we'll just weld a smaller pulley on it. Okay. You weld, you put a smaller pulley on that one, or you put a bigger pulley on the one on the engine. Okay. And, and then you're going fast. Go fast. Yes. Yes. Cool. You know what I'm thinking? What? This is just too good not to turn into a handbrake. Okay. All right, let's get the mowing deck. The deck, sweet. All right, I think the first thing we ought to do is just see if we can get them running. Both of them? Yeah. Sweet. See what kind of batteries these things are equipped with. Look, we got the carpet treatment. <laughs> oh yeah. Very better. How Man, cute. I think that's bigger than my Miata battery. That battery looks just like the one we have on uh, Pugly. Does it? Yeah. Oh man, it rolls a lot better when it's got air in the tire. Man, we got... We, I think we might have a winner here. Man, this thing is like very high. It's like a four by four. Dude, we are gonna slam the crap out of this thing. Wow. We got a couple quality lawnmowers here, bud. Uh, this is a Cub Cadet here. It was actually a pretty expensive lawnmower here. I think this one will be uh, the quickest, easiest one to run. 
I mean, we could always just jump start it with the, the battery charger. We'll yeah, we could do that. We and that. while you're doing that, I'm going to grab a new battery from our Go Power Sports stash and uh, fill it up and have it on the charger. What you doing, bud? Please don't put that on there. I'm uh, trying to put some gas in it. There's some, unfortunately, there's some really stale, nasty gas in there. I'm betting that uh, we have some carburetor issues. We got our new battery here. Uh, it's got an interesting way of filling it up. I kind of like it. I've never never seen this before, but then again, I'm not a battery expert. Anyway, it looks like you just kind of stab it in here and uh, it'll, it'll empty. All right, we got the new battery hooked up. I've got the charger on a lower charge. Uh, you're supposed to charge them up before using them, but we are impatient and we it'll be fine. We waited 12 seconds. Yes. That's right. So I'm going to hit the key first before giving any uh, ether. Really? Really? Dude, the blades are turning and everything. Uh, It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. I got some carburetor issues, but um, not anything that won't keep us from uh, hooking up a string to the throttle and taking it for a spin. Sweet. I don't think it was meant to uh, have the engine turn that hard. <laughs> This thing is slow. Yeah, I think it uh, takes the cake for slowest project yet. I'm owed with it. I know. Oh, victory chip. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Here we go. Wait, wait, wait. Move on to the next one? Yeah. Bam. We have made a stunning realization. Folks. John, you were, you were right. Taylor, you were right. <laughs> this is the steering wheel off of Taylor's $50 go-kart. And, and it's uh, identical. It's, this is the button that came off of this. It fits on here. It is, ex it's the same steering wheel. We hooked the battery up to the charger on this mower. So we're gonna go to lunch and come back and see if it'll crank up. See what happens. Junk. Junk. Battery. Battery's junk. We got the uh, a battery installed and uh, realized that the fuel line is not even on the carburetor. So before even putting on a fuel line, I'm going to use starting fluid, which I tell people never to use. So don't do as I do, but I, I just want to make sure it runs before we proceed further. Sounds good enough to put a fuel line on it. Sounds good. At this point, should we go out and buy some real fuel line? Or? We were supposed to do that. Oh crap, we, we totally out. forgot. Yeah. Hey, let me tell you, this little thingy back there, the pulley, yeah. she was a wobbling. Yeah, I saw that. I kind of leaned back and I looked back there and the whole wobbly, the whole pulley is just kind of wobbling around. Yeah. I bet you someone tried pulling that pulley off already and bent it trying to pull it off. And they're like, oh, well, this didn't work. Yeah. So are you doing figuring for when we go to slam it, how it's gonna yes. affect the belt system? Yes. So we're about to have a race between this lawnmower and that lawnmower. Um, I think I'm going to be on the yellow one, which is uh, definitely a disadvantage to this powerhouse right here. So I'm, I've already come up with some excuses as to why that one's not going to be as fast. First, it's got a deck on it. This one doesn't have a deck. 
and if it doesn't have a deck, is it really a lawnmower? So he's going to be disqualified for not riding a lawnmower. How did it run so long like that? Sorry you lost that drag race, bud. Okay. Oh, it was a slow race? No, from what I understand, it was a race between lawnmowers, right? Okay. I don't know what you're on, but it does not have a deck. <laughs> so what is a lawnmower if it can't mow a lawn? So we're done for the day. We wanted to have a proper race or a rematch, but uh, it is what it is. That one's got a junk carburetor, and uh, rather than focus on that, we're going to focus on turning this into a beast. Next is going to be slamming. No, next is going to be speed. Oh yes, we're going to work on the speed next. Right. We're going to work on changing pulleys. So anyway, let us know what you think so far, guys. You asked. We are hopefully uh, exceeding your expectations already. <laughs> Check us out on Facebook and Instagram at Cars and Cameras Reviews. We had a live uh, Q&A session the other day on Facebook. Check us out on Facebook for more of those. Uh, Cars-cameras.com for t-shirts. Thanks for watching. We will see you in the next one, guys. I think we got a little problem with these uh, studs, dude. Really? Yeah, I uh, placed up there and the studs are like right where the frame is a hand butt. Are you fine with it being kind of up like this? Yeah, I'm fine.